so good evening this is our video uh, smart, a short video presentation itong uh, smart weather system with a GSM uh, ito yung ating mga external sensors yung mga sensors na nasa labas ng casing we have a wind direction sensor we have a rain intensity sensor and this uh, wind speed sensor so basically ito ay parang compass ito siya binibigay niya sa atin kung saan yung direction ng wind ito naman is kung gaano kalakas yung ulan yung isa naman is kung gaano kalakas yung hangin so yung sa wind speed bibigyan siya tayo ng meter per second wind wind speed then this is for the uh, bibigyan tayo ng direction okay we have the north by the way meron tayong signal dito so upon installation dapat ito yung point ng north so kung sakaling mag install tayo kailangan din natin ng compass no? so let's say dito dapat nakaharap yung north so iharap natin sa installation itong color blue yun yung north kumbaga. so we have north, east, west, south we have north, east, north, west mga ganyan uh, actually meron pang north, north, west south, south, west mga ganyan so uh, that's actually part talaga ng compass so itong rain intensity sensor uh, actually a 3D printed module na pwede nating pwedeng magbigay ng value in colors no so kapag no rain lalabas niya talaga no rain kapag medyo mahina yung ulan mahina lang so that's green then medyo malakas that's yellow then kapag heavy rain talaga that's red we have also the wind speed okay uh, GSM uh, SD card module so di tayo nagda data logging so sa data logging kailangan natin ng correct time so we also have this RTC DS331 para sa pressure atmospheric pressure and altitude uh, uh, with regards to sea level reference to sea level we have this BMP280 we also have para sa temperature and humidity we have this HTU21D so ito yung kanyang casing by the way so sa next na ibibigay ko is only picture up, after na install itong system dito sa casing magsisend lang ako ng picture <coughs> so by the way itong LCD dito yan sya install kumbaga okay. so for upon testing uh, this is the admin kumbaga itong system okay um, those, those are the parts so ito yung kanyang main power supply it's actually 12 volts uh, 2 ampere so kailangan talagang 12 volts kasi itong dalawang sensor at saka yun are 12 volts rated so single power supply lamang para sa lahat na yun sya so sa installation natin dito natin ilalagay lahat except sa tatlong to syempre dapat nasa labas to sila uh, this is 4 meters naka tawag dyan uh, um, shrinkable tubes so wala kang makikita ng wire it's actually very uh, magandang tingnan uh, very good looking Kumbaga, as part ng ating uh, protocol na dapat walang makita ng wire sa labas ng casing so to power it up just power it up saksak lang natin yun sa supply so kung gusto natin gawing solar madali lang kasi that's already 12 volts so yung solar alam natin na yung battery nun is 12 volts so direct connect lang direct connect sa so, 12 volts ng supply but for now uh, without solar this is the testing ng device so by the way this is also equipped with a GPS monitor mapping although uh, since yung system din naman gumagalaw pwede natin i it yun na nag text na sya okay. pwede natin i iterate kung saan siya located so ipakita ko muna yung siya starting so before that ito yung readings natin wind speed weather yung pangalan no <coughs> yun kasi kakasya kapag nilagay ko pang weather station konti na lang yung boxes so, the temperature relative humidity pressure this is altitude by the way this is in refer reference to sea level rain sabi niya no rain tapos wind direction is east southeast okay yun yung meaning ng E, E, S, E, no, East, South, East so let's say, i-move ko to sa North dun sa may blue mas lalabas dapat yun siya North so pag i-move ko siya, let's say, sa kabila ng blue, which is dapat South okay. 
So, yun. Uh, para naman sa wing speed, okay. uh, ikutin ko na lang. Oh. Ikutin ko na lang. So, makita natin. Yung reading niya dapat mag-change after a while. So, naging 0.24 meter per second. Okay. So, since nag-stop ako, magiging zero yan siya ulit. Meter per second. Uh, sorry, yan yung kanina pang update na 3.7 meter per second. Yung inikot ko talaga siya kanina. So, balik siya na zero. Sa rain intensity naman, since ito yung ating uh, rain gauge, so, ang style ng rain gauge is yung papatak na ulan dito, parang sas sasaluhin niya, kumbaga, tapos, syempre, mahulog dito sa may butas. Tapos, parang may tipping bucket yun siya sa loob. So, since malaki yung area ng rain, and maliit lang itong sensor, so, kung mabilis yung tipping, means malakas yung ulan, marami siyang nahanap na sasagap dito. So, susubukan kong i-simulate yun. Uh, mabilis na tipping ng tipping bucket. Okay. So, ano ko yung tip ko yung manually yung sensor sa loob. So, naging red siya. Pag binilisan ko yung tipping, meaning malakas, marami talagang tubig dito na papasok, magiging red siya. So, since I stop, okay, nag-stop, magiging green pa siya muna. Kasi, then, magisabi siyang no rain. So, parang ganun. So, as for the others, direct, ano na yun siya sa module. Okay. So, ito lang talaga yung external sensors na kailangan natin explain. So, let's say, install ko yung system sa Mall of Asia. So, ito yung GPS uh, function, mapping function niya. Ito yung text kanina, no, ang system ay ready. Ito ang apat, by the way, is yung testing ko kanina. Okay. <coughs> now, as for the GPS coordinates, let's say, let's say mag-start akong install yung system sa Mall of Asia. So, search ko yun. Ito yung coordinates ng Mall of Asia. 14.5352 at saka 120.9821. Yun yung latitude, longitude, by the way. Okay, so ang gagawin ko is, pag nag-install tayo ng system, once lang naman tayong mag-set. Kasi after that, mara-remember na ng system kung saan siya located. And tsaka yung system natin, hindi naman gumagalaw. Kung sakaling binagalaw, uh, nililipat-lipat natin ng pwesto, uh, hindi naman siguro every minute or every second. So, pwede lang natin i-set by SMS. So, to set kung saan siya in-install, ang command is GPS coord. Okay. I'm not mistaken. That's GPS coord. Uh, dito yun sa command list. <coughs> okay. So, GPS. Hanapin ko muna. Dito kasi yun sa code. So, mayroon tayong command na map. So, mayroon din yung GPS coord. Okay. So, mag-detect ka lang ng GPS coord. Tapos, forward slash let's say, ano yun? 14.5352 14.5352 kama kasi yun yung latitude, no? yung next is longitude, ah, sorry uh, 120.9821 so we have here 120 0.9821 so, we don't need any active GPS. Kailangan lang natin iset siya. Anyways, pag na-install natin yan, let's say, dito ang sinabi ko, is Mall of Asia ko. Is SM Mall of Asia coordinates. Let's say, nilagay ko yung system sa Mall of Asia. Example lang. So, let's say, install ko din siya for one month. So, one month, ito lang yung location niya. Hindi naman siya magmumove. So, i-set, i-text ko to doon sa device. Then, Uh, wait for the reply, no? Magbibigyan naman yun siya ng reply. But it's GPS coordinates. So, coordinates of the device is now kung ano yung tinex ko. So, kung ito yung isa sa mga command sa ating system is map. Okay, pag nag-text ka ng map, bibigyan ka ng system ng mapa kung saan siya located. Okay, so sabi natin kanina sa Mall of Asia. <coughs> so, the map is a Google Map link. Yung kasi yung pinakamagandang Google, uh, ito kasi yung pinakamagandang map link sa lahat ng mga, so i-click ko daw, tap to load preview. So, yun, bibigyan kanya ng map. So, pag i-clear ko yan, SM Mall of Asia or SM Moa yung lalabas. Merong letter A na color red doon, sasabihin niya sa'yo kung saan exactly nakalocate yung ating system. 
Okay, so I guess that's the GPS function. Uh, for the updates naman, readings, ang text lang natin sa kanya is status. Okay. So, pag tinext mo daw ng status yung device, bibigyan niya sa'yo yung mga readings natin. Mga readings ng ano, ng uh, sensors natin. So, yun. So, temperature, yung H is humidity, yung P is pressure in Pascal. A is altitude, rain is, sabi niya dyan, no rain, actually yung rain, WD is wind direction, southeast, wind speed is zero, kasi hindi naman gumagalaw yung wind sensor natin. Okay. So, by the way, as those happen, habang mangyayari yung mga features na yun, uh, nagsisave pa rin siya ng ating, uh, nagdata logging ang ating SD card every minute. Uh, so, that means, uh, nakukuha niya yung data, then, lagi niya yung siyang sinisave doon sa SD card. As for the different functions, nung last time, yung last project na before ito in-upgrade, yung mga checking balance, check ball, register only, yung passing ng admin, change ng admin, ganyan, uh, this, those still works, nag-work pa rin yung mga yun. And, still working up to now. So, hindi ko na lang siya i-video kasi masyadong kahaba, mahirap i-upload. But, yung mga, mga mga features noon, still possible. Uh, nilagay lang, dagdagdag. Okay, so, like, let's say for example, ipasa ko yung admin. So, sa, uh, ang text ko lang is, admin tapos slash, parang ganyan, admin tapos slash, number kung kanino kayo papasa yung pagiging admin by the way doon sa my gps coordinates bago ko makalimutan um, <coughs> kapag naset ko na siya sa Molotovia kahit ma-restart yung system hindi na yun yung makakalimutan uh, maalala yun ng system unless iset ko siya sa ibang lugar so let's say uh, iset ko siya sa SM North EDSA okay. so last bago ko stop yung ating ano gps cord Okay, forward slash. Ang 